right, my advice to you today, read your Bible. Take time and read your Bible before you go out into that crazy world. This will change your life and you'll never regret it. The Bible says that iron sharpens iron and the countenance of a friend sharpens his countenance. It's a very simple proverb. I keep going back to it all the time in my life because to me it means who I surround myself with determines how sharp I'll be, how strong I'll be, what I'll tolerate, what I won't tolerate, what my standard will be. And so you are the same as I. You have to have somebody in your world that challenges your insecurities, that won't put up with your little fits. There's got to be somebody that you admire and you would want to be someday. I have this great uh, restraint mechanism in my life because I can be carnal when I want to be and I can let down on my faith when I want to be. I, I have this little thing I run through my mind. I think of getting busted. I think of the consequences of sin and, and carnality. And I see myself sitting across the table from my, doc, from my pastor, Dr. Mark T. Barkley. I don't know if you know him, but I know him. And just the thought of sitting across the table from him, confessing my sin, puts a fear in me. I think I don't ever want to do that. I, I, I think I would probably fall over and die before that happens. What a restraint I have in my life because I have this powerful man that I respect. And so once again, find somebody in your world. And listen, get past the preference thing. It, it don't matter how tall, how short, the color of their skin, or the accent that they have. You need somebody to sharpen you. You need somebody that just challenges you in your life to be the best you can be. Because the truth is, we need you to, to be the best you can be. So find that guy or become that guy. In Jesus' name.